Hey guys, what's up? Cardaka here, and today I'm here with another Nenoroid unboxing. This time around, we'll be unboxing the Caster Merlin Mega Safa version, which is the DX version. And uh, this is another Fate Grand Order Nenoroid, and the manufacturer is Orange Rogue. So, um, usually, the, the only other uh, Nenoroids I have from Orange Rogue is. Um, is the uh, male version of Saber, and I think that's it. But they also released uh, the Haikyuu ones. Oh, and I also have Nishinoya uh, U. But um, that's not important. Let's look at the figure. So he will with two layers I think yes so there's the effects in the back that's the, I think that's most of the DX stuff but let's see so here is the main figure itself get the plastic off him oh not. my bad all right so his hair so far his hair looks quite nice the detail on it is pretty good there's also a gradient on the hair and his ear rings are pretty on point so, pretty good on the help head sculpt. I think Orange Rogue is pretty famous for making um, pretty boy nanoroids. The Gilgamesh is also, the previous uh, Gilgamesh uh, from Trade Grand Order is also by this uh, manufacturer. So, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so far most of the uh so they're pretty pretty they're pretty good at sculpting sculpting dudes kind of have a passion for it all right so here is the main figure itself it's quite um detailed in most parts so you can see the hair here it's articulated So it is it is articulated, and um, but it's not it's not too articulated. You can move you can move it a bit, but it's not like you can have a lot of uh, movement with it. But the the peg is back there, so I can see there might be some problems caused. But we'll we'll see later. Let's have a look at his vestments. So there is detail here, and there are, there is a light, slight. Is there? Wait, uh, we have just imagining things. So there are some slight paint defects there, as there are from a lot of nanoroids. But these are nitpicks, so not too much problem overall. The main figure and hair looks fine, and there's no miss paint there. This gold part is also painted pretty nice. The gold on his pants is also very nice. Okay. So, not bad overall. Let's have a look at his. Actually, let's have. Let's see how. Okay, so his arms are, you can move them, like so, oh, he just fell off, okay, so the vest, the little, I don't know what you call it, mantle, his mantle here, it comes off pretty easily, I think you can just slot it back in pretty easily too, but It kind of hinders its uh, movement, so his armor already can't really move that much. 
So if you need to move it, you're gonna need to kind of um, put it in place first, like so. And then you can move it up a bit, but it's a, it's a little bit, the movement is still isn't, isn't that great. We'll, still have, we'll have a look at the uh, additional parts that you get. Maybe he'll have an extra joint that can help him fix his arm. So the hindrance and movement there definitely is a bit of a problem because it might hinder the articulation. So here is his extra face plates. So these are the face plates he, these are the expressions he make he makes when he's, uh, I think this is when he's doing the Garden Avalon. And then this is his smug, smug face. Everybody likes Merlin because he's a lovable douche. And he's also extremely hard to get in Fate Grand Order. He's been avoiding me for quite a few times now. I, I just can't seem to pull him. But that's fine. Next, let's look at his, um, his weapons. So here is his staff the detail on it is pretty good pretty good too looks pretty fancy and then there is Excalibur so it is uh, a little bit transparent here so I think it will be different Compared to the Excalibur you get, no, it's the same one. Okay, so this is the same Excalibur you get with the new Saber 600B. So if you wanted the original version, then um, you won't get that. Because the original 600 uh, Saber is going for quite a bit now. So if you're settling with the 600 B then there's a problem you might have a problem with some of the accessories it comes with but anyway let's have a look at this other accessory here so this is a different sword there is a hinge here whoops don't focus on this strong ass all right uh, so there is a hinge here it is it feels kind of uh, fragile so I don't really want to play with it that much so I'm just gonna put it aside but those are the main weapons he gets and I think aside from that here are his extra accessories okay, so he comes with a lot less than I thought uh, it's kind of a bummer but it's okay Okay, so he does come with extra arms, so you can use it to pose, I think. I'll, I'll definitely try it out to see if it works. So here are some effect parts. I believe these effects are reuses of some other effects that have pre-run, pre that are it's some piece, some Nenorids previously had. I don't remember which one off the top of my head. It might be the... Actually, you know, the shape is a little bit different from what I remember. So this is kind of like a buff. The, it's, this is the buff effect. So if you're buffing a unit, you put them in the middle, and then you can have Merlin standing behind it, behind him or her, and then you can use the buff effect. That's pretty cool. And then you have these arms, which I will try on now. All right, so let's try this arm because we. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so. It is a little bit hard to get. Get out. Hmm. That's not very user friendly. So you got that arm out. Let's hold this. Have go right in there. And let's have him hold Excalibur. Okay, so this thing fell off 
again. Yeah. That's a that's a huge problem with me. Those are some points deducted there. They try to make it look really fancy, which it is, but I think over time it's gonna be more and more fragile and it might snap really easily. So that's not a that's not that's 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 a that's a note from me. But his sculpt is already really nice, so it's fine. All right, so here he is with Excalibur, and let's try to exchange the other arm too. Let's have him. Let's just try to do it like this. So you can just kind of replace it like this too. So you have like a different different combinations to play with. And you can hold, hold like this. That kind of works. So he'll look like that, which doesn't look really, doesn't look the best on camera right now. But it will look better if you pose it pose it uh, with if you use some time take them some take some time to pose it there right so aside from those arms you don't have an extra hand except for this one I think this is a uh, let's see this is just another holding hand this is just another holding hand so let's see what the difference is between this holding hand and that holding hand. So okay, this okay, I can see it now. All right, focus not on the ass. The all right, so this hand is slightly slanted and this is straight. So this one. Um, you can use it for more dynamic uh, poses. So if you're you want to use it for an attack or something, you can use this hand. And it will, if you want to hold the staff uh, and place it on the ground, just like kind of like a stand, uh, standard standing position, I guess you'll use this instead. Interesting. That's all there is, though. There's only five different hands you can use. Two arm positions. And then there's some flower effects here. Uh, it's not focused, okay. Some flower effects here, which are nice. You're probably gonna wanna constantly have some flower effects around Merlin, because that's how he kind of looks like in game. Right? And uh, aside from that, you also get a Stand, stand here, extra neck joint. Okay. And let's see if there is the problem I mentioned before. So, usually a scalloper. Uh, let's try to put him, put the peg in there. Sorry, this focus. This video has been refocusing for. It's not been focused, but um, I'm just uh, currently testing out a new uh, light, so the focusing is a bit of a problem. But I'll try to fix that for the next video. All right, so it actually goes in pretty easily since the peg. Is really long. <laughs> if you look at that, look at that. But it fits pretty nicely. It doesn't feel loose, so that's definitely a plus. And there's nothing special about the stand. So let's just put that there. All right. There we have it. There's 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 the uh, the 
cock wizard. Excuse me for my language this video, but I don't see any other words to describe this guy. <laughs> He's, yeah, the flowers, the flowers, they, they just kind of, you just kind of put them there. They don't really have a place to put, uh, be put. It's a little bit weird. So you can kind of do it like that. But yeah, that looks a little bit weird. Like that, I guess, maybe. I'll definitely try to take some poses with Saber uh, in the photo as well. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I think for uh, the original price for this is around 5,000 yen. I think you can still get it for around that price because um, I don't think there's just too much demand for it right now. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this review for this Merlin Nenroid. I definitely recommend you guys to pick it up if you guys are a Fate fan or a fan of, uh, you know, B Show Nen Nenroids in general. Overall, he looks pretty good. No really big problems with him. And yeah, he's pretty worth it. I do recommend getting the DX version if you are planning to get him at all because the DX version does come with a little bit more accessories and the price range isn't that big of a difference. So with a little bit more price, you can have more items to play with and I definitely recommend that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this review. Thanks for watching guys. This is Kartaku and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!